used to here for sure. I <laughs> know, that's a good thing. <laughs> right, we don't want that. We have our share of enough natural disasters that come yeah. through Alabama. And of course, the other day we did have five tornadoes confirmed so far. Preliminary results from the National Weather Service do show an EF2 in Flatwood there, the Montgomery County area, Utah, Akron area, Green and Hill County. So that was an EF1 tornado. Emerald Mountain there at Elmore County, an EF1, EF0, Tyler Road there in Walker County and Tibby, Washington County, the strongest tornado down there in South Alabama, EF3 with winds of 140 miles per hour. Much calmer, quieter weather out there this morning. Live look at Gadsden here. Things are looking pretty quiet for you up there in Etowah County and here in Jefferson County downtown from our BJCC camera. A lot of sunshine and quiet conditions for us too. 31 though, below freezing. Northern wind around 6, making it feel like 29 to 30 there with the wind chill. Very dry air in place as well. 33 from Tuscaloosa back to the Moundville area to Alabaster. Warm spot at 36 degrees, but freezing in Asheville. 20s from Gadsden back over toward Coleman and into Hamilton this morning. And you see these temperatures are running anywhere from 18 to about 32 degrees colder this morning compared to yesterday. Yeah, Gaston, we're talking to you. One of the coldest drops there in temperatures in the last 24 hours. Now we do a few high clouds starting to come in from uh, near Hamilton area there in Marion County, and we'll see them from time to time throughout the day today as high pressure moves by just to our north. We'll see some high cloudiness moving through, but overall not looking too bad today. Temperatures start from 32 at 7 a.m. Warming to about 53 there at 1 o'clock, 54 at 3 o'clock. You can see again some of those high clouds building the way into the area as the day progresses. 54 from here to Alabaster today, 56 from uh, Talladega, Anderson, back to Alex City and Clanton. Same for you in Moundville, Tuscaloosa. You get to 55 today. Now our next weather maker is going to be what we call zonal flow. That's the jet stream or river winds aloft. Usually you have ups and downs here, troughs and uh, ridges is what it's called. But when it moves directly from west to east like it is here, that's called zonal flow. And we're going to see that today and tomorrow, giving our weather pretty much a little break. But we do see that sending a cold front our way as we head into Saturday. And it looks like that will bring back some wet weather to the forecast. So future cast will show tomorrow. Just a lot of cloud cover building into the area. But as we head into Saturday morning, a line of showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder, although nothing severe will move on through. That'll work its way to the south and stall initially, but then come back north on Sunday, which will bring us another round of some scattered showers to the area. So unfortunately, the weekend is looking a little bit on the wet side for us. 60% chance of showers and a few storms on Saturday. High of 67, a little warmer, but cooler, 59 degrees on Sunday. Unfortunately, the wet weather pattern, that's going to continue into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Although since the weather systems are coming from the west versus the north, we're not going to see much of a cool down with highs in the 60s and 70s.